In this lesson, we will practice synthetic division and look at the remainder theorem. Let's start by using synthetic division to divide negative 3x plus 4x squared plus 2 by x plus 1. In synthetic division, a polynomial, p of x, is divided by x minus c. Here, p of x must be written in descending order as 4x squared minus 3x plus 2. We look for c in x plus 1. If x plus 1 is equal to x minus c, then c will be equal to negative 1. The c goes in a little square box to the left of the coefficients of our polynomial 4, negative 3, and 2. And we then begin the division process by bringing down the 4. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. Negative 3 plus negative 4 is negative 7. Negative 1 times negative 7 is 7. 2 plus 7 is 9. So we have essentially taken the polynomial 4x squared minus 3x plus 2 divided by x plus 1 with the result of 4x minus 7. The degree drops by 1 and then with a remainder of 9. We can write our result as negative 3x plus 4x squared plus 2 divided by x plus 1 equals 4x minus 7 plus 9 over x plus 1. Try on your own to use synthetic division to divide x cubed minus 3x plus 5 by x plus 2. Next, we'll divide 4x squared minus 1 by x minus 1 half. Here, c equals 1 half. And notice that we're missing the x term in our polynomial p of x. So we'll replace that x term with a 0 coefficient. We'll replace the coefficient of x with a 0. And I'll begin the division process by bringing down the 4. 1 half times 4 is 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. 1 half times 2 is 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. We have the result that 4x squared minus 1 divided by x minus 1 half is equal to 4x plus 2 plus a remainder of 0. We could also write this as 0 over x minus 1 half, but I'll just leave it as 0 for now. Something else to notice, if we multiply through by x minus 1 half, we have 4x squared minus 1 equals 4x plus 2 times x minus 1 half. So with a remainder of 0, we can actually use synthetic division to factor our polynomial. The remainder theorem. Suppose p is a polynomial of degree at least 1 and c is a real number. When p of x is divided by x minus c, the remainder is p of c. Let's use the remainder theorem to find our remainder when p of x is divided by x minus c, with p of x being equal to negative 3x plus 4x squared plus 2, and x minus c being equal to x plus 1. Here c equals negative 1, so to find the remainder we'll find p of negative 1, which will be negative 3 times negative 1 plus 4 times negative 1 squared plus 2, and this is equal to 9, meaning that we have a remainder of 9. We used this same problem earlier with synthetic division and had the same result to remainder of 9. And we will also revisit dividing our polynomial 4x squared minus 1 by x minus 1 half. Here we're looking for the remainder. We'll have c equals 1 half, and we will find p of 1 half, which is equal to 4 times 1 half squared minus 1, and that simplifies to 0. Getting a remainder of 0 is a good result if we are looking for factors of 4x squared minus 1.